Hello, hello friends. Hi, it's Jennifer with Fox and Smocks and this is our Friday crafting with plastic day. I hope you guys are all having a great Friday and you have been watching all these amazing crafters. We started at, oh my goodness, guys, we started at 5 o'clock in the morning. No, 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so we have 30 minutes, okay? We've got 30 minutes, and we have a fun, fun project for you today. We're going to use some yellows. We're going to use some teal and purple. But here's my question for you. Does anybody know what this is? Does anybody know what this is? Hey, Shelly. <laughs> Good morning, Kathy. Okay, so we are reusing plastic items. Today I have chosen to use this. It is a CD. Yay, Sassy Fresh Creations. <laughs> okay, guys, so I actually did a little bit of prep work. I did two CDs. So, hello, Jackie. Um, what you'll do is you'll glue two CDs together. So, you got the reflective side on both of them. Okay, guys? We are going to make a wind chime or like a sun catcher, whatever you want to call it. So, this is what we're doing today. We're putting together a little wind chime. We're reusing those old CDs. Um, does anybody have any of these like laying around? Like, I don't even have a CD player anymore. Like, even, even the computers, they don't even have CD-ROMs anymore. So, okay. So anyways, this is a fun way to reuse these um, old plastic CDs that we got laying around. And if you're... Um, Somebody that likes to decorate with wind chimes and stuff like that is a great way. I still have CDs, but I don't know why. I know, right? <laughs> um, you still have a box full. Okay, now guys, you can also like cut these up and like do all kinds of stuff. But we're going to get started. I am, you do have a few. Hello, Mary. <laughs> Hello, Jody. Okay, so this is a sunflower um, cut out that I cut out uh, last night and I prepped it with a little bit of white paint because we're going to paint with yellow. I wanted to make sure that it, the yellow actually stood out. So we're going to foil the middle of it. We're going to paint this kind of a yellow. We, we probably will put a little bit of hints of hints of gold in it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with rich espresso for my middle piece. Um, because, well, that's a pretty color, and I always like what it looks like underneath the foil that we're going to use, so we're going to use that. Guys, so we have 22 presenters today. We have 22 presenters, and we have 30-minute spots, so I go until 1030 today, and then you'll have to check out and see who's the next crafter, but we're going to be on today all the way till 5 o'clock tonight, so the last presenter is at 5 o'clock, I believe. So we're going to paint the middle of this that rich espresso color. Now there's some score lines on it. Now there's some score lines on it and there's holes and everything else. I'm not going to worry about if I get the paint done in the little score lines. Um, that was just for decoration, I believe. But we're covering it up with foil anyways. So um, I don't know. Maybe we won't cover it up with foil. I kind of like this color in the middle. So we'll, we're going to go ahead and put the paint down on this. And we're going to paint... We're going to put our foil adhesive on the middles, and we're going to carefully paint the yellows. And then we're going to paint our feathers. Then we're going to put it all together and add some beads if we have some time. Okay, so I'm just painting the middle of it, kind of that rich espresso color. Hello, Pam. Hello, what she shed. <laughs> Hello, George Ann. You're new. How did you cut it? I have a laser cutter. So I, um, I cut almost all my wood projects. If you are new to me, my name is Jennifer and I'm with Fox and Smocks. I live in the Wichita, Kansas area. So I'm in the middle of everything. Um, I have a large laser cutter that I cut 
all my wood projects out of. Um, sometimes I get my stuff from the Dollar Tree, so I mean, I'm fine with using stuff too that's already pre-cut. So, I'm also the foiling girl, so if you've never seen foiling, you're going to enjoy this because we're going to foil today just a little bit. I've got a piece of hair or something down in my paint here. See if I can get it off. Okay, so why I'm painting this, um, this color is because we're going to use this kind of brown color. I'm going to show it to you. We're going to use this kind of brown foil in the middle. I thought that would be a good color for the middle of those sunflowers. So I'm just putting a color down that's similar to the foil. So when we um, foil it, if it doesn't foil all the way, it still has a color underneath it. Okay, so we've got that painted. Let's put some yellow out. Actually, let's put our foil adhesive on that middle so it can be nice and dry. Hello, created in awe. Good morning, Sparky Chris. Hello, hello. How are you today? It's Friday, guys, and it's Good Friday. Who's going to church tonight? Is anybody going to church tonight? Okay, so I am going to use maybe a couple different colors of yellow. I've got three different colors of yellow setting out, but they're pretty similar. So I've got the marigold and the saffron yellow out, and I also have cadmium yellow. So we've got three different colors of yellow, but I think what I'm going to do is kind of start in the middle with this marigold. It's a little bit darker yellow. So I'm going to start kind of in the middle and we're just going to work our way out with different colors of this yellow. I know I said I was going to, I know I said I was going to put the foil adhesive down, but we'll go ahead and do this first. <laughs> All right, so I'm not doing any sort of, any kind of fashion here. Like I said, we've got 30 minutes, so we wanna make sure we get this painted and get this all put together for you. I'm already six minutes in. Ah! So if you guys have old CDs hanging around, this is a fun project to do. Even if you don't have like a wood cutter or you don't, you know, you don't have the pieces to put something like this on it. You can take those CDs and paint them, glue them together, put some paint on them, let the grandkids or the kids paint them, and have a good old time with it, okay? The reason why, guys, if you're wondering why I painted the white first, um, I went ahead and, and put the white down first because it really helps the yellow stand out. So when you are painting um, with yellows, sometimes it's kind of hard to see it on the projects. So I went ahead and painted it white because it does help um, make that yellow pop. So we're just going to add, I'm not even going to put any green in this guys because I can't tell what's sunflower petals and what's not. So we're just going to paint the whole middle of this yellow. And I'm not sure yet what we're going to paint the outside. Maybe we'll paint it purple. Everybody always looks at me crazy when I put yellow and purple together. But guys, it really, they are complementary colors. So, all right. So we've got some of that yellow down. Now let's grab the other yellow. I'm not even going to rinse my brush off, guys. I'm just going to go right into the other yellow. And we're going to see if there's any difference here. Okay, so it's a brighter yellow. Not too much of a difference. That's okay. We're going with it. All right, let's get this painted here. Honestly, guys, the colors are too similar. Like, you can, they can't even really tell the difference there. So, I'm not too worried about it. If that was, if it was me and I was doing this over again, I would probably just use one color and go with it. Now, if I want to, I can take my sponge and come back in with a different color, like maybe a little bit of that brown that we put in the middle. I think I will do that. So, we, we will do that here in just a second. But let's go ahead and get this painted yellow. Now this is all gonna be glued together, so I'm not too worried about it going down in the middle of the cracks here. Is anybody going to church today? Hello, hello Deb, 
Hello, 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 Art and Grace. Love the name. I'll check out your page. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're talking to me or not. Nope, you're not. Okay. Tomorrow night. Kathy's going to church tomorrow night. What do we got? What do we got up here? Something about deer. Uh-oh, I missed it. I have a box full. Um, How do you cut it? I use them in some flower beds to ward off the rabbits and deer. This is a great idea to make them more decorative but still reflective. Yes. Guys, that's my plan. Um, We have a garden out in our back. And we are building this ginormous... Um, greenhouse, I guess is what you want to call it. Um, but we have, what we did last year is we did raised beds. And so we have three, four foot wide by 12 foot long, um, flower beds or not flower beds, but you know, garden. And so we are going to, we, we built a cake, basically a big giant cage around it. And we are now um, in the process of working on putting the roof on it. And I think we've come up with a pretty good idea because what we did was we put four by four or two by fours and four by fours. Um, but what we did is we put we put chain link fence around the bottom of it. And um, we are going to put like the plastic up at the top. But what we decided with the chain link is in the summertime, it'll be open so the airflow can come through. But then in the winter, we if we're going to plant in the winter as well, then we can cover it in the plastic and just take the plastic off in the summer. So, um, and all, also it'll help keep the, the, you know, the animals out and everything else. Now they're raised. So when I say raised, my husband is like 6'5", and so he made it... <laughs> <laughs> where it's to him. So it's a little hard sometimes for me to reach into it, but that's okay. I'm 5'7". Um, we live in the Wichita, Kansas area, so it does get awfully hot here in the summertime, guys. So um, that was just another way for us to kind of protect it because what we're going to do on the top is instead of using um, like all the plastic, there we go. So there's our little sunflowers. Okay, so instead of using all of the plastic on the top of it, we decided we are going to, um, we decided we're going to use like that mesh that is, uh, like I put it over the top of our swimming pool last year and it really worked like to help shade it, but still had like airflow and everything in it. So we're going to use that. We're going to get a couple of those and we're going to put it over part of it. And then, um, oh gosh, I had troubles with this yesterday. Ah, all right. I got 15 minutes guys. I think we're going to make it. All right, so this is our foil adhesive from Artistic Painting Studios. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it onto the middle of the these sunflowers because this is where we're going to foil. I'm just going to slap it on here. It kind of goes on like Mod Podge. Mod Podge, whatever you call it. Um, but when it dries, it dries clear. And it's very, very sticky. So when it dries, it's very, very sticky. And the foils stick to it nicely. So like I said, I'm not going to worry about all the little pieces here. And I think what I'm going to do after this dries and after we get this all put together, if we have enough time, we may come back in with some gold and just accent the, the um, petals here. So let's get this on here so it's good and dry. Because we want it to be dry so the foils will stick to it. Oh, that's a lot. This is a, not, I mean, I guess it's a special glue because it dries sticky. So this is called foil adhesive or foil glue is what I like to call it. Um, I get it from Artistic Painting Studios. I've tried tons and tons and tons of foils, foil glue, and this one is by far my favorite. I'm just kind of sticking my brush down in the holes a little bit because I got a little carried away there. So here's what it looks like when it's wet. You can kind of see that it has kind of a white or hazy color, and then when it starts to dry, it's just kind of a clear so we're going to set these, actually we're not setting those off to the side because we need to paint the outside. Alright, let's put our 
glue up. How we doing, guys? How we do? How we doing? It's a Friday. Hello, Mary. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna do this. It's called Vivid Violet. I couldn't find my purple pizzazz. It's gotta be around here somewhere, but I really like purple pizzazz as well because it's kind of the same colors here, but. We're going to use this one. It's a really fun purple. And I'm going to use that same brush that I was just using for the foil adhesive. So we're going to wipe that glue off there. Now the glue is nice because it is um, water soluble. So it washes like that. So we're going to paint this purple. Purple, purple, or a shade of purple anyways, whatever shade this is. It's almost a pink, but it's not quite. See how fun that is? Okay. Let's get this painted. And we're going to glue. We're going to glue. We're going to glue. So we are going to go to church tonight, I believe, and then for Easter and then, or for Good Friday, and then we are going to my dad's house tomorrow for an Easter egg hunt with all the cousins, and then we are going to church Sunday morning, and then we will be going to my sister-in-law's house for lunch, I believe, or a late lunch anyways. Sunday afternoon so we've got a busy busy weekend and the boys I'm trying to find them my husband and Darian I'm trying to find them matching shirts so they can wear them together because I always like to dress them and then I kind of just figure out what color they have on and find something in my closet that matches the boys are harder because you know my husband loves to match Darian but sometimes it's kind of hard to find little kids clothes that match my husband's because I have to shop in the big and tall for my husband because he's so tall so there's our sunflower we're going to put some foil in the middle of it isn't that pretty guys this is going to be so pretty together let's see let's see Ooh, we got 60 I see 60 eyes on me today wowza you think we can get it up to if we can you think we can get it up to a hundred if we can get it up to 100, maybe I'll send one of these out for Happy Mail. I'll just pick somebody that was on here. And we'll do Happy Mail today. Let's see. So if you get a random message from me, <laughs> you might have just gotten one of these. I will probably send a blank one for you. Nope. Okay, it's going up. Let's get those eyes on here because we're going to foil here in a second. Yay, let's do it. Let's get those people over here watching. All right, we got this side going. <laughs> I love the purple. Thank you, Elizabeth. I love that purple too. It's so pretty. All right, and actually, we are going to paint one of the feathers. Did you guys see that I had little feathers, too? We're going to paint the little feathers purple. We're going to paint one of them purple. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now, I didn't put any color. I didn't put any white on these ones first, so it's going to be a little bit different. And I'm not going to worry about doing two coats of that purple either. So, I mean, this is going to go outside, so... You will need to seal this with a sealer, a sealant or something. I would suggest doing that before you glue it to your CD. I'm not getting all the messages. Oh, no. I'm sorry. All right. Let's see. We need some more paint. We need some more paint. Uh... Kathy, hello. I don't know why you're not getting messages. Okay, so we're painting this feather purple. 
And then we're going to paint the other two feathers blue or a teal color. And I don't think we're going to foil on these, but I did paint both sides of this, guys, because this is hanging down. So there's the purple we painted on that one. I'm going to set it down over here, and we're going to... Hope for the best there. Now let's get out. Let's get out some of our blue. Ooh, we got 10 minutes, guys. We've got 10 minutes. We can do this. Let's get our foiling done real quick. And then we're going to paint those other feathers blue. Put this together. Okay. So we foiled, we put foil adhesive on the middle of these sunflowers. So we're going to use my Draco foil. So this is what foil looks like. It's a thin sheet of paper. It's on a carrier sheet. So how this works is you lay it down and anywhere there was a foil adhesive, the, the foil will stick. So we're gonna stick this right there. We're gonna rub it down with our fingers. And then we're gonna take our little scrub brush that we got guys and we're gonna scrub it on. You don't have to push too hard with it. You just want to make sure it's it's adhering to it. And I can tell that it's adhering. So let me do a little sneak peek to make sure it's transferring. And it is. So the way the foils work is it's only going to stick where you put foil adhesive. So if I didn't get foil adhesive, it's not going to stick there. So you can see that it's nice and adhered. Are you guys ready to see what it looks like? Go get your friends, because here we go. All right, can you see that color on there? Let me get it just right. There you go. It just gives it a little bit of, um, you can see that it transferred on there. And it just gives it that nice shimmer to it. It's just a little something on there. Now let's do the other one as well. All right, let's see, we'll go right there. It's okay if the foil gets a little wrinkles in it, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's the foils on that one. You see it? See how it's a little bit different shades of colors in there? So pretty. Okay, guys. So we've got that taken care of. Now, we have our CD-ROM or our CD here. And how this looks is basically we're going to put it together like this. So there's our sunflower reflective little wind chime, whatever you want to call it. I'm actually just going to put some glue on the back of my wood piece and glue it. I'm going to clamp them together while we're finishing up um, painting the feathers and then we'll see if I can't get this together. I don't have to put glue on the whole entire thing, but I definitely want to make sure there's enough glue on it. Okay, so we've got one side on there. You see that? Now let's glue the other side and we're going to clamp it down. Oops, I've got glue on my fingers, darn it. I used um, eighth inch wood on this one. I didn't use the real thick wood because I didn't want it to be super heavy. So I used a little bit thinner wood on here. Now, here's the trick. We're going to have to line up our little 
circles here. So when we go to thread the string, <laughs> we can get it through there. Okay. So there's our little wind chime. Isn't that adorable? Love the foils. I've not seen foils before. Well, uh, Rosie, yes. Will you have a summer small interchangeable kit? Painting crafty. Um, I can, yeah. Are you wanting something like this or are you talking with just the foils? So we have five minutes, guys. So let's, I'm going to show you what I was planning. I was just going to use some twine and you're going to want, I, I need like three pieces because I have different, um, I have different, I'm going to do different lengths here. So we're going to do like a short one, a little bit longer one, and then we're just going to add another one in there. So we'll just add another one. We'll just fold it and then um, we can make it long or short or whatever. And we can cut off whatever we don't need to use. So my idea here was just to take the little pieces. I just folded them in half. Now here's where I'm going to see if I can get it through the hole. It doesn't matter which way you go or which one you go. Um, I might have to do one and then the other because uh, this one's folded weird here. Okay, let's see if I can get those through the hole, through both of the holes. Okay, so I've got my little loop on one side. Okay, guys, I've got my loops on one side, and I've got my strings on the other. I'm going to open my little loop, and I'm going to pull my strings through. You could do this however you want. You do not have to string this on there this way. This is just an easy way for me to do it quickly without having to tie a bunch of knots. So we have our strings hanging down there now. And that is what we're going to tie our, we can add some beads to it. Um, we're going to put a little hook at the top too, but let's go ahead and paint the rest of our, flat, or our feathers here. I think we will go ahead. I don't need, we're not even needing to clamp that, guys. That glue like stuck. I'm using stick fast glue to um, glue the wood to the CDs and they were it worked really fast. Like I didn't have to clamp it or anything. Now I did get a <laughs> I did get a little not even right there, but that's okay. <laughs> this going outside. So I've got some little yellow pony beads. Um, I don't know if you guys know what those are, like the little pony beads that you use to make kids. So I was going to maybe put some of those on there, but then I also have some little wooden beads, but I think we're just, we'll just go with some pony beads and then, um, we've got two minutes. We can do this. So let's just pick one of these here and we'll put some beads on it. Just so we have some. We'll do one. I don't think I'm going to be able to get those little, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get those wooden beads on there because they're kind of, they're kind of tough here. Okay. And we got a black one just for the fun. Now, we'll string our little feather on here. We'll tie a little knot. And we'll tie another knot. So it's good and on there. And then you can kind of make this like a dream catcher, a wind chime, like whatever you want. Okay, guys, you can make the feathers long, short. You can put them way up at the top. I think I'll do one of the blue ones up at the top. We haven't painted it yet, but we're going to real quick. We got one minute. So that is our project. I really love this sunflower. So cute. Okay, so there's our sunflower. You get the gist with the beads and the, the little feather. You don't have to put that on there if you don't want to. You can add um, chimes. You could even like string some string down in the middle here if you wanted to like do it in different areas. 
Um, I think if I was to make this again, I would probably put some more little ho hooks down here at the bottom so I can have different areas. So, but I'll put a little piece of string up here at the top, but this is our sunflower that we did for Craft Around the Clock. The Plastic Day. There's our foils in the middle. You can see that Draco foil. It looks great with the sunflower. What do you guys think? Do you love this? Give me some hearts if you love this. <laughs> It turned out so cute. I will take some pictures of it hanging out in the sun. It's so pretty. Thank you. Now, don't forget, guys, if you're going to put this outside and it's going to be in the elements, you want to seal it. So our next presenter should be coming on right about now. Have a good afternoon. Bye, guys.